We all see, have seen the development of technology in all our um, walks of life. Uh, we all carry fancy iPhones and we watch in movie theaters at home, and, but it hasn't happened in the classroom. In an age when people, our students are writing, texting, everything electronically, uh, giving them a piece of paper and that for that to be the continued medium by which we test them and assess them without making use of computers seems to me as being somewhat archaic. I think there's a huge problem at the moment with uh, kids being more social and uh, expecting more enjoyment in, uh, out of the activities they perform. And so you can't just expect them to do things because you told them to anymore. Before we had computers, the students would write down symbols, X's and Y's and math, and then they would hand it in, hoping maybe they got some marks. But now, they get to give the answer to the computer before they hand in. And if the computer tells them this is garbage, they know right during the test, something needs to be fixed. I belong to the lazy class, so uh, I like it when, when things are easy and I just get, get up and, and uh, you know, talk and, and give the lecture and then go away. And uh, up until recently, I thought that was enough, but now I realize that uh, I have to be responsible for how well the, uh, the students are learning. Educational technology is technology that adds pedagogical value to our learning environment. So it's great to have technology, but it's even better to have technology that elevates the learning experience for our students. Our aim should be to consider how the technology can support meeting learning outcomes, learning goals, and the needs of students and any programs that we're offering. It could be um, software, game software, in, 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 in the cases I'm thinking about. Uh, it could be uh, experiments, packages, uh, all kinds of things. Everything is done online via videos, via online interaction, via discussion groups, and so forth. A student can watch that, they can re-watch it, they can watch it time and a half, or they can slow it down, they can watch it 10, 15 times, and the computer never gets irritated at them. It's essentially, I think, created a, a, a nicer relationship between myself and the class. I get to know them better, they get to know me better, uh, through those kind of off-the-cuff or outside-the-class material uh, experiences. At the end of the day, when we pull educational and technology together, the idea is integration. If we're going to discuss educational technology, I'd like to suggest that we add integration to the end of the phrase and discuss educational technology integration. Educational technology gives instructors so much more flexibility in how they reach and who they reach. So it gives us a chance not just to engage uh, students at our own institution, but to reach so many other learners um, from across Canada and around the world. I can review what I taught, um, think about how it went last year, and then really make um, intentional changes to my teaching year over year. EdTech gives students and instructors multiple opportunities to explore different ways of learning and different ways of teaching. The variety of things that you can do over EdTech vastly out outstrips the very traditional lecture, lab, tutorial models. And there's so much more that we can do that we can um, use in EdTech to improve our engagement with our students. Being able to actually demonstrate the things across disciplines. Uh, we did stuff with a number of other departments, even with another faculty. And um, we were able to, to show the students ways of thinking that they hadn't been able to see before in the classroom. For me, uh, educational technology has always been a way to enhance my opportunity to engage the students. Uh, to interact with them. It provides us with the ability to uh, get our students pr prepared before class, try activities that are more interesting than just lectures, and build on their knowledge that will have been acquired through EdTech rather than just deliver that information in a class. I think educational technology changes learning for students because it enables them to learn in multiple modalities. And so instead of only taking in the modality, um, that the instructor is providing in one setting in the classroom. Uh, educational technology allows a professor to deliver learning in multiple ways. I think educational technology tends to externalize what you're doing. So rather than being something that's just you, you and your thoughts and then conveying them to the students, it's become uh, an artifact that's outside you and that you have to design and you have to evaluate and you have to be responsible for. So it's increased the accountability. I think in terms of uh, certainly what I do.
I think starting and experimenting, being in a university situation, not to experiment in this area, I think uh, runs counter to the philosophy of the institutions. So just as we do research in every area, we need to do research on how we teach. And the only way sometimes we can do that is by trying things out. For other instructors that are thinking about trying something new in the realm of educational technology, I would just say be patient. Creating your material at the beginning takes a lot of time. It's a huge investment. However, you'll be able to use those materials and use those practices again and again, forever changing the effectiveness of your teaching. Probably the sagest advice that I've received from a colleague, and this was years ago, was never to let the technological tail wag the pedagogical dog. That would be my advice, to always think about your goals and objectives first and how you can improve student learning and then consider what technology might support that process. There's no such thing as over-planning these videos, especially in the beginning. Uh, the, the first few that you do uh, should not be the first videos that your students are going to see. And um, they should be some of the easier bits of material that you have to cover. My advice to someone who's just starting off with some new videos or ed tech would be just to try it. Get out there. Maybe the first one you do is not quite right, and that's fine, but you get experience and you get more comfortable with it and you get more efficient and then it becomes much more useful to you. Taking a look at what other peers are doing, consulting an educational technology professional about how best to approach it, and thinking about how your students will be supported in using the technology when you roll it out in your classroom will ensure success. We're uh, expanding on the use of online content and the use of uh, online courses as a kind of a full experience, but leveraging those materials to support the students that are taking kind of a, a live or in-person or face-to-face -face, uh, class. And I think what we'll try to do is continue to expand that uh, various ways in which students can learn the material, but also complete the course. And maybe we can uh, expand the way that we think about uh, moving through an online course and give students a little bit more flexibility in terms of how they actually complete that course bring the, the real world, the real outside world with, with practical example, with real examples to the student environment so they can, they can see not just the theoretical component of, the mecha of mechanics but also the practical aspect. How are things being done in real life, on a construction site, in a factory or so forth. It's a very exciting time in educational technology at the University of Toronto because we are in the midst of renewing our academic toolbox. This will be an effort to decide what kinds of tools do we want available for us as teachers and for our students as learners in the next generation of teaching. So it is a time when we are thinking actively about what technology is going to bring to our teaching and what kinds of tools and opportunities uh, we want to have available to us as teachers. We didn't have access to technology, we didn't have internet, we didn't have the cloud, we didn't have tablets, big tablets to draw your videos and make nice graphics that are easy to understand by the students. Um, we didn't have a lot of these tools that now we have, it's just upon us to make good use of them. So my advice to you in two words or three words, just do it. Be prepared to take risks, recognize their risks and uh, don't expect to get it right and, uh, and, and try and make it a multi-year experience so that you stick with it. Now that I've worked out the kinks, I'm happy I went through this whole process and will continue to do so uh, and also explaining it to other people which to use the technology.